one month since I have returned from my six months trip around South America. So in this video, I will share with you all my highlights. The moment I returned, everyone was asking me which was my favorite thing to do in South America or see or visit. And at that time, I was giving like 50 different things. But now after one month, all my impressions and experiences have kind of settled down and I can kind of clearly tell you which are my absolute absolute favorite places and the ones I recommend you to visit. So without further ado I want to jump in my top three. In my top three has to be Iguazu waterfalls in Brazil that was the most powerful epic thing I have ever seen. You can visit waterfalls from the Brazil and Argentina side and both are incredible. I have seen a lot of people asking on these travel forums, is it worth it? Because to get there, you need to go like with a 12 hour bus or fly there. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. And I can guarantee you it's so, so worth it. Soul Desert in Bolivia has to be in my top three. It's such a unique place. I can't describe the feeling when you're walking on a salt, kilometers of salt. It's such a, such a special place. This desert is called Unisol Desert and you can, day, you can do a day trip there, but I think the best is to do a two day trip or a three day trip around the desert. And in my top three has to be Amazon. Again, it is such a unique place. The whole ecosystem there is different, the animals, the nature, like it was such an amazing experience and definitely a must do when in South America. I went there for a weekend trip. I had no Wi-Fi, no connections. It was absolutely incredible. We stayed in these lovely lodges. Our guide was incredible and the whole experience in Amazon was amazing. I did it in Ecuador, but also in Peru, Colombia and Brazil and even Bolivia offers some trips to Amazon. As the next one, I want to mention Colombia because every country has like this one significant thing about it and I can't really find one for Colombia, but the whole country is just like an adventure and experience. If I have to highlight one place in Colombia, then it's definitely Salento. It's the Cocoro Valley in Salento, which is this valley with these long palm trees and it's so, so magical place. If you have seen the cartoon Encanto, then you will understand what I'm talking about. I also think the capital Bogota is a really good place where to learn about the culture and history of Colombia. I also really love the south part of Colombia, which is Cartagena, um, Santa Marta with Tirona Park and Minga up in the mountains. So yeah, in Colombia, there are so many lovely places to visit. Okay, Machu Picchu. Like, I have to mention Machu Picchu because it's just such a must do in South America. But I would like to say that I really recommend for you to do some day trips around Cusco area, which is like the main place from where you're going to go to Machu Picchu, because once you're going to learn more about Incas and Inca culture and history, trust me, your Machu Picchu uh, visit is going to be more special. Also, I recommend doing a trek to Machu Picchu. So there are this Inca trail, which is super special. Uh, it's quite expensive. So there are cheaper options. I did Salcante trek, which is quite adventurous one and a bit I think it's one of the hardest treks to Machu Picchu, but it's such a challenge and it was amazing. So yeah, doing a trek to Machu Picchu, I think that's also going to make your visit more special. Peru in general is amazing. There are so many amazing places to visit. One of my favorite cities, Arequipa, is there. Also Lima, the capital, is really lovely to visit and in the, the middle of Flores area. But if there is one place in Peru that I want to highlight, it's the Rainbow Mountains. Again, it's a very unique place, very special, and it's a very popular day trip to do from Cusco. So yeah, I definitely highly recommend visiting Rainbow Mountains. Regarding cities, my absolute, absolute favorite city in South America has to be Rio de Janeiro. Rio just has everything, like this incredible big city with theaters, museums, so much culture and things to do. And then you have the whole coast with loads of beaches, the famous Copacabana beach, with the promenade, with the cocktails on the beach, with volleyball. I mean, it's just such a cool, chill vibe on the beach. And then you have like the city, like Rio has everything. So I think if I have to tell which is my favorite country, in South America then it's really really hard to say because all of them all the ones that I visited are amazing but I will highlight Colombia and Peru uh, just because it's not only amazing as as a country of things to do and see there but also it's such a good like tourism is 
on a spot like it's so good and like the infrastructure is there like the buses everything is very easy for tourists it's easy to understand and travel around the country so yeah i think colombia and peru are my two absolute favorites in south america for now oh and yes i'm filming in this video in the car because it was raining outside when i was wanted to film i got in and now i'm like on a wave so i'm not getting out so yeah this video is happening in the car <laughs> Some other highlights from a trip is definitely the crazy bike ride in Bolivia. It's called the Death Road and you just like go in a crazy speed down the mountain and it was like so much fun and definitely a must do if you are in Bolivia. The best and at the same time the hardest hike in South America was the one in Colca Canyon and I highly recommend visiting Colca Canyon. It's just such an incredible place and the most popular thing to do there is to do like a two or three day trekking around the canyon and it was super super hard but I enjoyed it so much. Definitely highly recommend. Another thing I really enjoyed in South America is surfing. So if you love surfing, there are several spots. I spent two weeks in a lawn, a little village uh, by the coast in Ecuador, and the waves were perfect. This water was so, so warm. I also know that Mancora in Peru is really good for surfing, and at the coast, uh, the Pacific coast in Colombia is also really good for surfing. So yeah, surfing in South America is definitely a good experience as well. And if I have to highlight the most fun place in South America, it's definitely Vanyas. I mean, there is so much to do. Rafting, canyoning, there are these like these crazy big swings that you are like overlooking the whole city and mountains. Like it's absolutely incredible. There are so many fun activities to do there. I think for any adrenaline seeker, any adventurous person, that place is going to be one of the favorite places in South America. I have a video on every place mentioned on this video, also about many other places. I go into detail about, about each destination I went to. So if you're planning your South America trip, definitely make sure to check out my channel. I have so much useful information there. And as you saw, there are cold places, hot places, so I think it's so hard to pack for South America. So I have a whole dedicated video on what to pack on a backpacking South America trip. Make sure to check that video out if you are planning your trip to South America. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.